Thank God for my salvation. Man. Thank God for being able to come before the saints today. Um, quite nervous, so I shall pray with me. Encouragement yes. yes. from uh, Brother Nathan a couple weeks ago. He said, "Look not on their faces." My <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord, so please, please pray for me. Uh, but I do got a thought tonight. Um, you will turn with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. the word of God. And uh, after a break, read for me if you don't mind. Got my Bible back. Man, I bought this Bible not too long ago. I was encouraged by the saints. They said they they lost a few things. Not every when I lose something, I just kind of say, okay, well, it'll turn back up. But when I lost this Bible, I'm like, man, that's my Bible. I want my Bible back. Right? And so, uh, I think it's a few days ago, I said, Lord, I just can you just please return my Bible. And I came to church yesterday, and it was on the back bench. The, 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 back, the cover was kind of messed up, so it looked like it's been used, but hey man, it came back. So thank God for that. Got Amen. some encouragement from one of the saints. Alright, Matthew chapter 13, verse, start with verse 44. Again. The kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure <clears throat> hid in a field, mm -hmm. right? the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy therefore goeth joy and sell it. Goeth and sell it. All that he has. All that he has. And buyeth that field. Mm -hmm. Buyeth that field. Mm -hmm. Be free. And again. And again. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. My Lord. Seeking goodly pearls. Seeking goodly pearls. Mm -hmm. Who when he hath found one. Who when he hath found one. One pearl of great price. One pearl of great price. Went and stole all that he had and bought it. Went and sold all that he had and bought it. My, my, my. Verse 45 one more time. Again. The Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. Is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. Seeking goodly pearls. For when he hath found one pearl, when he hath found one pearl of great price, one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had. Went and sold all that he had and bought it and bought it. My thought: valuing your treasure. Oh, oh. Valuing your treasure. Oh my God. Easy, what does it mean to value something? Mm. By defi definition, Webster's set a price on something. Uh, to estimate the worth of something or esteeming something. Mm -hmm. To find its worth. And I put here to find its proper worth. Alright? The property or those properties of a thing which render it useful. Webster also said, he quoted, the real value of a thing is its utility and usefulness. Yeah. Right? The usefulness. That's the real value of a thing. Well, here, there can be many variables on putting a value on something. Right? And I have a few different examples to put here before we get into um, our text. Money. So y'all need money, right? There's My Lord. A certain extent of money to make it by. Uh, well, here, but what is your money worth if you are in the middle of a desert, being thirsty for a few days, and you run into a guy with a gallon of water who is also thirsty? Mm -hmm. How much is that money gonna? What, what is that gonna mean to him? All right, he's probably gonna make you do something for it. He's probably gonna try to trade you something, something for it, probably for some boots or for some clothes or something to protect himself from the sun. All right, money is not gonna be worth that much to him. All right, in that situation, time. Put an example here, a little bit closer to home for me. Man is in a healthy relationship with his wife, working a first shift job, making. Uh, say $20 an hour and doesn't have the opportunity to work overtime so he budgets his money and, it makes, and he has to make a few sacrifices but then one day his boss offers him a job about an hour away making 
$30 an hour on second shift. On second shift. All right, and he has the ability to work or the opportunity to work all the overtime that he can. All right, and he takes the job. How do you think his wife is going to feel about that? All right, he probably won't be the happiest person in the world, and you probably wouldn't be the happiest person in the world either. All right, I know my wife wouldn't. Morals. All right, morals, value on morals and integrity. Um, I remember a situation just recently. I went to go purchase a certain license, and uh, the guy, it was a part of, a, of this particular license to where it said, have you ever took this type of training? Have you ever took this type of uh, safety training? And I was like, oh, no, no, I haven't done that, so I, 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 can't, I can't buy a license. He's like, oh, nobody's going to know. I can just click it. I can just click this. You done? I'm like, no. Nah. I said no. I saw. I said no. I'm okay. I, my wife was with me. I said no. I'm fine. Just I, I worked with something else. He ended up finding an alternative for me to where I had to do something else. But um, integrity. So morals. Man. Morals. All right. Man. That's a certain value. The Bible says in James two sixteen, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart. In peace, be ye warm and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to be new to the body, but as a prophet. All right, I mean, it, it sounds good. Be warm. Be blessed. May God bless you in a special way. Yeah, you didn't give them nothing. My Lord. I mean, you really didn't give them what they needed at that time. All right? Those words, those words, although they were sweet and everything, the, the, the value of it to them was, was really not anything. All right? So, we see that there are different variables in valuing things. Put here, what is our treasure? Alright, on the topic of valuing our treasure. What is our treasure? Salvation. Amen. And saints, I, as I'm going through this and I'm, I'm meditating, I'm really, really thinking about the young people and really, really thinking about uh, really, I mean, everybody really thinking about the depth of it. Yeah. Right? What is our treasure? Come on, wait, and put here equals, or, or it is our salvation. Yeah. It is our redemption. Yeah. It is our deliverance from every sin. It is yeah. our pardon yeah. from every, every transgression that we ever did. That's our treasure. All right? Through repentance and confession and faith. Amen. I put here some tears by the grace of God. We came into a relationship with God. Yeah. We didn't have a relationship with God. Yeah. We couldn't get down on our knees and just talk to God and have all of our problems be a little bit better. We didn't have that Hello. inside of us prior to salvation. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. That is our treasure. It should be our Good treasure. Lord. I put here a true clearing. Yeah. A true clearing of our dying souls by the mercy of God. Yeah. Yeah. By the mercy of yes. God. Yes. Dying souls. We are already dead, but still dying. Yeah. 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 Put here. The Bible says in Ezekiel 18.4 Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Now put here, and further be separated from God forever. And that was one of the things that really got me into the salvation race when our brother had exhorted that to me. Separated from God forever. Just the thought of it. Just the thought. I didn't have Full, I, I was brought up in the church, but I didn't have full understanding of it. But somehow, some way, God used that example in my brother to give me the full understanding. Yes, yes. You're going to be separated from God forever. For the rest, for, for as long as God lives, you're going to be separated Lord, from uh, God forever. But yeah, then you yes, Amen. It says, I put here, thank God in Ephesians. <coughs> Chapter 2, it says, and you have to quit. Yeah, that's right. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh. 
mind. And of the mind. Come on with it. All right? Imagining some things. Being satisfied by the imagine. Just the, uh, just the thought of being able to do something. Oh. Just the thought of being able to do something. Maybe we never uh, accomplished what we wanted to do, what we really wanted to do, and probably the mercy of God held us back, no hey, doubt. Hey. But just the thought of it excited us. Mumble. Excited the thought of doing something contrary to what the scripture says, contrary to what God is. That's the God. thought of that excited us. That's all right? He said you were dead, separated from God. He said, among whom also we had our times, uh, conversation in times past. Skip down to verse 4, it says, But God who is rich in mercy, but God. But God who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even. Even when we are dead, it says, have quickened us together with Christ, by grace you are saved, and has raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I, I mean, I got just reading that again. I read it so many times. But it, it, it encouraged me. You know, it encouraged me just to think, yeah. just to think I didn't have a mind like this before. Yes, sir. I didn't yeah. possess this mind. You didn't possess Amen. this mind before. Your mind was far off. Somewhere else you didn't have it. What a treasure, brother. Yeah. What a treasure, brother. That's, that's, that's a treasure. Yeah. That's a treasure. Yeah. You did not have that mind. It's Amen. a blessing. You didn't know how you was going to get that mind. You tried this. You tried that. I tried all yeah. this. Yeah. I was yeah. never yeah. satisfied. I was yeah. never really, on, really, God. really content in my mind. Come on, God. 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 didn't deserve not one ounce of God's grace. We did not deserve one ounce of God's grace. Now put here, people don't realize that. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And he chose, he chose the Christ for you. Or he chose the cross for you. Come on, brother. He chose to die. He cho chose to come down from this lofty position. My Lord. Be Fashion as a man, come on. Go through all the, the feelings, all the pain, all the hurt, all the that. Gospel, just brother. for you. My, my. Just for you to have this mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Just for you to yeah. have this come treasure. On, so it's about my valuing God. our treasure. My, my, my. What he actually done just for you oh. to value the treasure. Alright? Well, here he spared us. He spared us hoping that we will return to him. Hoping that he would return to him. And I'd like to thank God for the message yesterday. True, but as he said, he spared us hoping that we would return to him. Using nothing but his love. I've got everything to give you. I've got every, And I, I make it plain for you. Alright? It says he had mercy on our souls hoping with no guarantee. No guarantee that the free will I gave man, no guarantee, the free will that I gave man that he gonna return. There's no guarantee. Isn't that, isn't that deep? That's a, that's a deep thought. He, it, it, was no, it was no guarantee though. The plan of salvation is perfect. The plan of salvation is priceless. Come on, There was no guarantee. He, he did it. He said, there's no guarantee that they're gonna come, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. My God. All right? here, everybody in this room today should be thankful that God did not take us out, out in our sins. Yes, that's right. Amen. Today you should be thankful that God did not take you out in your sins. That's right. All right. That He didn't cut you off in your sins. I'm so thankful that He didn't cut me off. All the things I knew was wrong. My God. Yes, you know, maybe you don't know the depth of salvation. Lord help. Maybe you don't know uh, the depth of what you are actually doing. Maybe you don't you don't know it uh, by scripture, but you know it's wrong. You know what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, you know what you were involving yourself, or you knew what you were involving yourself. True. You knew it was wrong. Yeah. You knew it brought guilt and shame. Yeah, you, knew, you knew all the feelings that it brought. You knew it was wrong. Yeah. You sure. knew it was wrong. All right, that's, and that's what we was going to pay for. My Lord. That's what we was going to pay for. But God said, He said, I'm going to do it anyway. Yes. Yes. Wait, my God. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to have mercy. My I'm going to have mercy anyways, just hoping that He returns. All right, now, player, sometimes I found myself just praying as I'm praying up to God. He just, he just reminds me. He just reminds me. I cry, I, and I just ask, and even my wife, I hear my wife crying out to God, just saying, why me? Why me? Why did you give me this treasure? Why, why did you give me this, this treasure? I, I, did, I don't deserve it. 
I don't deserve it. And then you, you think about the things you've done in the past. Like, I, I, I really don't deserve it. On, I really brother. don't deserve it. Come on, brother. Thank God for my salvation. Oh, it's right? God help us. How do you know if you are valuing your treasure properly? Acts chapter 26. Mm. Acts chapter 26. <clears throat> Again, reading very familiar passages, very encouraging passages. All right. There was two incidences here, but I wanted to use this one, so bear with me. Uh, start at verse number one for me, please. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, All right. Thou art permitted. To speak for thyself. Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. All right. Then Paul before Agrippa. Keep going. Then Paul stretched forth the hand he and said, answered for himself. All right. I think myself happy, King Agrippa. Amen. Because I shall answer for myself this day My before Lord. thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. My Lord. Especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore I beseech thee to hear me patient. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem, right? know all the Jews, which knew me from the beginning. Which knew me from the beginning. If they would testify that after the most straightest sect Lord. of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. My Lord. And now I stand and am judged for the Pope of the promise made of God unto our fathers. Amen. Unto which promise our twelve tribes instantly serving God day and night, my Lord, hope my Lord. to come. For which hope, Saint King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Hope. Go down to nine, please. Verse nine. I barely thought with myself. Said I barely thought with myself that I ought to do many things. That I ought to do many things. Contrary to the name. Contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Of Jesus Nazareth. Nazareth. Which things I also did All right. in Jerusalem. And many of the saints did I shut up in prison. I shut the saints up in prison. Having received authority from the chief priests. My Lord. And when they were put to death. My Lord. I gave my voice. He gave his them. voice against them. He was agreeing they should be put to death. Mm. And I punished them off. My Lord. In every synagogue. My Lord. Every, every chance I had. And keep going. And compelled them to blaspheme. My Lord. And being exceedingly mad against them, my Lord, I persecuted them even unto strange cities, my Lord. Wherefore, as I went to Damascus, verse 30, 30, verse 13, at midday, O at king, midday, O king, I saw in the way of life I from saw heaven, in the way of life from heaven, yes, sir. above the brightness of the above sun, above the brightness yes, of the sun, shining round about, me. shining round about me, and them which journey with me, yes, and when. And when we were all fallen to the earth, my Lord, I heard a voice speaking unto me Come on. and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, my Lord, Saul, why persecutest thou why me? Why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee, it's hard for thee to kick against the priest. Keep going, brother. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus I'm whom Jesus. thou persecuted. Oh, look. My Lord, come on. But arise and stand upon thy feet. Upon thy feet. Yes, for sir. I have appeared unto thee, my Lord, for this purpose, my Lord, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, Amen. and those things in the which I will appear unto Amen. thee, delivering thee from the people yes. and from the Gentiles, yes. unto whom now I send thee, Amen. to open their eyes, to open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to, to light, them from darkness come to light, brother, come and from the power you. of Satan unto my Lord. That they may receive they forgiveness, may receive of sins, forgiveness of sins and inheritance and inheritance them which are sanctified my Lord. by faith that is in me. Alright? I know that is a bit lengthy. Come on with me. How do you know that you are valuing your treasure properly? First, you remember your conversion Amen. as a testimony by God of what God has done for you mm. and to you. You you remember my God, refresh. your conversion as a testimony of what God has done for you and to you. That is one of the things yeah. truly that I that I'm carrying on to and I'm protecting with all my heart. My God. With all my mind. I remember yeah. it, it's two points in there. I'm sorry. It's two points. 
in remembering what God has done for you, he said, I punished them often in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme. In remembering what God has done for you, you remember why you came to the altar of prayer. Mm. Oh you remember why you got saved in the first place. You remember what you used to be. Oh, what you used to do. How you used to think. Yes, sir. All right? Well, here, you remember, you remember your end result mm. of why, why I got, why I got saved in the first place. This is why I got saved. Empty. I was not happy. My Lord. Well, here, you remember who you were. You used to smoke every day. You used to get high every chance you got. All right? You, you couldn't stop even if you wanted to. A, a job came up and the opportunity came to smoke. You just wanted to smoke. You wanted to get out of the way. All right? You used to cuss up and down. You used to drink just to have a good time. You used to lie on people. You used to just do things. All right? You thought you were something special. You had to be something special in order to, to make you feel good about yourself. All right? Some way, somehow, you wanted to feel good about yourself, so you, did, you went above and beyond. You needed the attention. All right? You were depressed all the time. You needed Thank to you find Lord. something to get away from the world. My God. I put here, some people had a playlist for every emotion they was going through. My God. You had a musical playlist for every emotion that you was going through. You had a slow list, you had a fast list, you had an angry list, you had all you had a playlist for every single emotion oh, that you was going through. You had, you had to dress yourself up to feel pretty. Come on, brother. To feel like you're something, man. To, to, to get somebody's attention. Amen. You can spend a half an hour, a, a hour, just getting dressed up to go out just to please somebody who don't even care about you. Amen. You did all that. You did all that with so you remember it that and then you remember what God has done for you. Mm -hmm. God. I don't even need that no more. Amen. And you look on it, you Amen. look on it with such disgust. Like man, I used to do that. <coughs> I used to involve myself in that. I used to participate in that kind of behavior. Man, I'm so glad God saved me. Yes. I'm so glad He delivered oh, me from that. Yes. I was given to that. Nice. I was given to that kind of spirit, and I thought I was something. I was nothing. Amen. All right. Oh my God. So right. one, you remember your conversion as a testimony. As a testimony. So, it, to me, it's, it's, it's some testimonies that, that you obtain as, you, as you're going through faith. But the day you got saved, the day God as you, you came into that relationship with God will keep you if you don't forget it. If you, I, I, I pray to God, say, God, don't let me forget that day. That's right. Do not let me forget that. God, I appreciate what you've done for me. I appreciate the things that I, that I have accumulated uh, spiritually, uh, materially. I appreciate all the things that you blessed me with. But Lord, don't let me forget the day that I came back. You brought me from the dead. You brought me from the dead. Don't let me forget that day. If I forget that day, I can't do anything. Like, yeah. I can end up right back out there dead. That's right. Lord, don't let me forget that day. That's what Paul did. All right, he used it as a testimony. No doubt, in my mind, he was as he was saying, he was he was encouraged. He was getting encouraged just thinking about his his conversion. Just thinking about it. How can you forget that? How can you forget that? Hey, when you go out and you decide to go back against God, all you're saying is, oh, "That day is not important to me." That day was not important. That's all you're saying. That day is not important to me. Oh, but every time, every time you, you, you're brought into uh, the devil tries to tempt you, bring this. Just think about the day that you got saved. Man. Just think about everything that was oh, going right. your, everything that was not going your way, and yes, God sir. decided yes, in sir. His mercy. To, you know what? I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna hold him. I'm gonna hold him. He said that's on the pot. It was nothing. Let me hold you. Let me hold you. That's what he did. He had mercy on you. Amen. All right. How do you know if you're valuing your treasure properly? All right? You remember the version as a testimony for what God has done for you. Good word, brother. I'm, oh, I'm, help us. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> I remember the day the Lord saved me. I was a girl. I remember the day the Lord saved me. All heaven came down. My Lord, there was glory all around. Amen. Amen. Appreciate that song. Man. Be a little bit more bass, brother, though. So. Well, <laughs> right. um, here, whatever your situation in salvation is, it's better than what it was previously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever your situation in salvation is right now, it's better than what it was previously. Yeah. 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 I don't care what kind of money you had. I don't care what kind of job. One day, 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 one
Whatever it was prior to salvation ain't nothing what it is now. In my mind, it ain't nothing what it is now. There's just nothing that can measure up to what God has for you. That's right. There's nothing that can measure up to what God has for you. The way of the transgression is hard. Amen. Well here, you don't have a proper you don't have a proper outlet without God. You don't have the proper outlet without God. You do you do whatever it takes just to feel satisfied. That's why people get high today. They're not satisfied. That's why they're doing all these other, these crazy, they, they're truly, truly not satisfied. They don't have a true treasure. They don't have a true treasure. Money's not a treasure. But material things are not a treasure. Having a, having a, really, having a happy family is good in this life, but that's not a treasure. My, my, my. That's not a true treasure. That's, that's a, it could be a blessing, an added blessing. My Lord, true treasure is salvation. My Lord. My Lord. True treasure is salvation. Having a relationship with God. Knowing that I can reach heaven. Yes, sir. Knowing that I can reach heaven. Knowing that I can play for, pray for my family. Knowing that I can pray for my little daughter. Knowing that I can pray for my son. Come on, brother. That's yes, a true, that's a true treasure. That's a blessing. That's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift. It's given to us. You should value it. My God. Number three. 1 Peter 2.1. Glory to God. My God, my God. 1 Peter 2.1. Wherefore, all right, laying aside all malice and all guile, oh Lord, and hypocrisy and envies and all evil speaking, keep going, brother. As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, Amen. that ye may grow thereby. Amen. Keep going. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a lively stone. Disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God. Right, go back and press two. Verse two. Yep, verse two. As newborn babes, As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word. Desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. That ye may grow thereby. The third reason how you know you're measured, valuing your treasure properly, is that you desire the word of God. Good, man. You desire the word of God, whether it's preached, whether it's re uh, recording, man. whether it's an exhortation, my Lord. whether it's an uh, uh, interaction with somebody, whether it's the word printed, you desire wow. the word wow. of God. It's man. in you. It's that? been planted with the conversion. My Lord. With the conversion, my Lord. it is in you to desire. My, my, my right? God. That's, and, and you continue to desire it. You continue to just want to be around the saints. Right? That's why Paul said, not forsaken it. Really, you, you, you don't have to forsake it. It's in you. Amen. It's in you to desire to be around the saints, to be fed by the word of God. All right? It truly is in you. He said, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow. Thereby, if so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is good. If you truly value your salvation, if you truly, truly value your treasure, your treasure, I'm sorry, if you truly value your treasure properly, you desire That's right, brother. the word of God. That's right, brother. You know, I, Amen. If, it if it's the word of God, line upon line, preaching yes. upon preaching, yes. if you don't yes. care where it's coming from, I yes. want to listen to it. I want to hear it. Yes. I want to hear it because I, I'm going to get something. Yes. 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 I'm going to add to my treasure. My mind. I'm going to add to my treasure. I don't my care Lord. about uh, bishops and all those other things. They, oh. What they say makes it sound quite my interesting Lord, sometimes, Lord, but it has word, nothing brother. to do but the, with the word, the true yeah. unadulterated oh, word of God. God. That's what I desire. That's what I desire. Yeah, right? yeah. Thank the Lord, brother. Amen. Another yeah. point in that here, Acts 9, 8. Go away, brother. brother. Thank God for the word. Acts chapter 9. And Saul rose from the earth. All right. And when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. All right, this is after his conversion. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. All right. And he was there, and he was three days without sight. Yes. And neither did he eat nor drink. Didn't eat or he didn't drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus right. named Ananias. And to him yes. said the Lord in the vision, All right. Ananias. Yes. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. Verse 11. And the Lord said unto him, Arise. Arise. And go into the street. Go into the street. Straight. It's called straight. And inquire of the house of Judas. Inquire of the house of Judas. Of one called Saul of Tarsus. One called Saul of Tarsus. My Lord. For behold, he prayed. For behold, he prayed. All and right. The, the other point in there, you want to tell 
God everything in prayer. Mm. You desire to have a conversation with God. My Lord, brother. You desire to have a conversation with God. In valuing our experience, it's not that I have to pray, I have to pray, I have to pray. You desire wow. to pray. Wow. You desire to get down in your Amen. closet and Thank really you. get Thank something you. from God. No, it's not always easy. Thank you. No, it's not always easy. No, it's not always just something. You, that's why the Bible says get, get away. Get away from the world. Get away from the world. But you know that you are, are you, you are valuing your treasure properly when you have a desire to pray. You have a desire to talk to God. All right? My Lord. Um, appetite. Prayer. Point four. Philippians. I pray the saints that you're Man. receiving this. As yeah. I receive it. Man. Really, really bless Thank my soul. Lord. Thank the Lord. Philippians chapter 3. And, uh, okay, start reading in verse 1. Finally, my brother, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me indeed, is not grievous. But for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Go down, we, to, go down to verse 4. All right, so Paul is about to give a whole category of things that he had prior to salvation. All right, go down to, uh, I'm sorry, go to verse 6. Concerning zeal. Concerning zeal. Persecuting the church. Persecuting the church. Touching the righteousness which is, which is in the law. All right. Blameless. All right. So we say he's blameless under the law. But what things were gained to me. Say for all that. Those I counted lost for Christ. Those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things for lost. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. I count Jesus. all things for lost for the ex excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Yes. And do count them but dumb, my, my, right? that I may win Christ, all right? Mm. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, my Lord, which is of the law, all right? But that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Verse 10. That I may know him, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable, all right, unto his death. Verse 11. If by any means, if by any means, I might attain unto the resurrection of the I dead. I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. If by any means, I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Point number four. You are willing to make it and keep your treasure. By any means necessary, my, my, my God. My, my. you are me. You by any are means. willing. By the team. I'm sorry. You are willing to keep by any means, by any means necessary, serious, brother. your salvation. Yeah. Later on, he says, "I press toward the mark, yeah. all right, for the prize of the high calling of Jesus Christ." He said, "Let us therefore, as many be perfect, be thus minded." See, so you got to have the same mind. You got to have the same mind. He said here again, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, if by any means I keep myself, I'm going to do it by any means, I'm going to keep my salvation. My God, amen. I'm going to protect this by, and I don't care what I have to do. What do I got to do, brother? I don't care how far I have to go. Oh, I don't care how much I have to bring out, how much I have to sacrifice myself. I don't care what it is by any means. By any means necessary, I'm keeping this treasure. Yeah, yeah. By any means necessary. I'm not selling, I'm not letting it go. By any means necessary, I'm keeping it. Money. Right. It's going to cause some pain sometimes. All right. It's, it's, it's going to be frustrating sometimes. All right. But by any means necessary. All right. If you, if you know deep down in your heart, all right, or if you want to keep deep down in your heart, or if you want to know that you have treasured your, or valued your treasure properly, you are still willing to keep it by any means necessary. Oh right? If you got to humble yourself, whatever. Oh God. Well, here Jesus 
saying in Mark 9, 2, And whatsoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me is better for him that a millstone, mouse millstone, were hanging about his neck and were cast into the sea. He said, If thy hand offend me, if thy foot offend me, if thy eye offend me, cut it off, cut it off, pluck it out. Alright? Mm. We'll hear right, in sin stuff. we have accumulated some things. We have accumulated some things. We've, we've accumulated some habits. We've accumulated some uh, bad ideas. You've accumulated some, some different things, uh, uh, friendships. You've accumulated those things. But if you are, if you want to value your salvation properly, you know you're gonna cut it. You're gonna have to cut it off. Amen, brother. You just you don't have to cut it off. Amen. It may not be as soon as you get your conversion. It may not be a little bit later on, but eventually that thing is gonna hinder you. My God. Eventually that thing is gonna hinder you. And if you value it properly, you're gonna cut it off. Amen, brother. By any means necessary. I don't, I don't, I don't care what it is. All right. Luke 26. 426, you don't have to go there. 1426, it said, If any man come to me and hate not his father oh and Lord. mother oh Lord. and wife oh my. and children and brother wow. and sisters, wow. yea, and his own life, he cannot, he cannot be my disciple. Wow. He said, it's, it's just not possible. It's not possible. Brother Kennerly said in the lesson child training, listen to that message on Brother Nathan's site. He said, I love my children. He said, I really love my children, but I don't love them that much. <laughs> he said, and, and not in a sense it's true love, but he said, I don't love them enough to violate one of God's principles. He said, I do not love them that much. I, he said, I, lo I love my salvation more than I love uh, see my children violate the principle of God. I, I, I love my salvation too much. He said, I love my salvation too much. Example, <clears throat> Brother Ron again. He said uh, he gave an example about how his job was moving down to Florida. His job was moving down to Florida, and they thought very highly of Brother Ron. And they what they said to him, they said, uh, "Well, we're moving our job down to Florida, and uh, we really think you you can. We want you to come with us. We want you to come with us." He said the first thing that came to his mind. He said, "I don't know any." congregation at the time that's down there in Florida. Amen. He said, I don't know of any congregation that's down there in Florida. My little brother. I don't, I don't, that's the first thing that came to his mind. Vision, brother. That's the first thing that came to his mind. He, used to, he, wasn't, he wasn't thinking about that job. My Lord. Mm. Oh, of course, no, no, no doubt it, it probably was enticing or whatever, but he said, I, I'm not I'm not thinking about that job. I'm thinking about my salvation. I'm thinking about souls. God, God saved me. God saved me to be a witness for somebody. To be a witness of his grace. of his grace. And to go down to Florida? And no doubt the devil probably could have tempted you. Oh, you're a pastor. You can go down there. You can start a congregation. You can do all these things. He said, I'm not thinking about that. There's no congregation. I'm not going down there. Will of God. He said, so, he said, so they consented to Say, well, can you help us with the process? He said, okay, I'll help you with the process of getting you stuff down. He said, but it was it was a trap to try to get him down. There. He said they sent him down there. They sent him down there, and they was giving him money on top of the money he was doing. They said they was paying him double to fly in the air. They was paying him overtime. Wow. Just to fly down in the airplane and come back. All the time he spent air travel, they said he was paying him overtime for it and giving him spending cash. Wow. Giving him spending cash while he's down there. And so he said. The guy came up to me and said, so, Ron, when are you moving down here? He said, Doug, I'm not going. <laughs> he said, Doug, I'm not going. I value my salvation way too much. Wow. He said, his exact words, he said, I got to survive. Wow. He said, I got to survive. All right? Valuing your salvation, valuing my the treasure properly. Yeah. That's good, brother. All right? What a word, brother. And our last point. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Oh Lord. Verse, start reading in verse 24. By faith, by faith, Moses when he was come to years. Moses when he was come to years. 
Refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer. Choosing okay. rather. To suffer affliction with the people of God. Suffer affliction with the people of God. Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Our Lord. One more verse. Esteeming, Esteeming the reproach of Christ. The greater reproach of Christ. Greater riches than the treasure of Egypt. Man. Man. Everything that the world had to offer Moses at that time. And I'm sorry. Let me get to my point. You would rather. Just how you know. That you are valuable. You are treasured properly. You would rather suffer the loss of whatever. Whatever you had, whatever you had held on to, you would rather whatever you valued the most in your heart, you would rather. Or whatever you would obtain. Wow. Whatever you would obtain if the world had offered it to you. Mm. You would rather suffer the loss of it and keep your treasure than lose your treasure. You would rather, point five, last point, you would rather suffer the loss of that thing Deeper. and keep your treasure than lose your treasure. Deeper. And lose out on salvation. Deeper. That's how you know that you are truly valuing, valuing your treasure properly. Right? Moses, Moses said it, it's, it's not a price that you can put on salvation. Amen. It's truly not a price right. that you can put on salvation. Amen. I really, I really appreciate God for my salvation. That's all I have. It's one of the things that, that, that truly is keeping me. I, I, I value. I really, really value my conversion. I really value my conversion. It's, it's, it's no, there's no price that you can put on it. Almost, almost every single situation, not necessarily a, a temptation per se, but deep, hard trials and different type of things that come my way. I'm reminded, like man, I don't care what I'm going through. I don't care what I'm going through. I value my salvation. Amen. My Lord, Amen. I'm not going to lose out on God. That's all I have. Amen. My Lord, Amen. Lord, value your treasure. Amen. Lord, help us.